ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಸಮಾರಂಭಂದೇಶ್ವರಿಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respects. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, sarvanya peta ejamans, shri mahans, mahans, kotari, stanidar, sitting with us all over the world through Nityananda TV, two-way video conferencing, having Naina Diksha. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. Kano Upanishads, Shanti Mantra. I was introducing yesterday's satsang. Let's recite the Shanti Mantra and enter into the understanding om apyayantu mamangani vak prana Chakshushrodra Madho Balamindriyani cha Sarvani Sarvam Brahmhau Panishatam Maham Brahma Nirakuryam Mama Brahma Nirakarot Anirakaranam Astva Nirakaranam ಮೇಸ್ತು ತಾತ್ಮನಿ ನಿರತೆಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಧರ್ಮಸ್ತೆ ಮಯಿ ಸಂತು ತೇ ಮಯಿ ಸಂತು ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಟೂ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ the vedic way of living vedic lifestyle starts with peace ends with peace all the knowledge we generated please understand we had everything and much more what modern science has produced now whether it is jet plane rocket missiles nuclear weapons chemical weapons we had everything and much more in vedic age in vedic era but we were very clear it will be only for peace 
it will only be for peace. Understand? We start with peace, end with peace. Whether it is rituals, ceremonies, teaching, knowledge transmission, everything, everything. Knowledge is only for peace. Only one big crime the modern day Hindus did is they think peace is important so let us avoid conflicts. No! By avoiding conflict you will never be in peace. By avoiding conflict if you try to be in peace naturally the other forces will push you, push you, push you to the corner till you become non-existent. Avoiding the conflicts is not methodology for peace. Right methodology for peace. Facing it. Solving it. Peace is the purpose. That does not mean we are afraid of conflicts. Peace is the purpose does not mean we are afraid of conflicts. Peace is the purpose does not mean we are powerless to handle conflicts. That is one of the biggest crime the modern day Hindus did. Trying to avoid conflicts to have peace. That is why modern day Hindus lost their backbone. Peace is the purpose but not avoiding the conflicts but by facing and resolving it. We start with peace and end with peace. Live in peace does not mean we are weak. No. First thing you need to know, peace is your goal, but not in the way the middle class understands. Middle class can never grasp any truth with its context. So it tries to cook up his own theory. The middle class way of living peace is avoiding conflicts. No. Facing it and resolving it is the royal way of peace. Facing it and resolving it. Facing the conflicts and resolving the conflicts is the royal way of peace. Upanishads are royal science, not the middle class science. It is royal science. Listen. First thing you need to know about the Shanti Mantra, the peace, it should always be the purpose and goal. Peace of the individual, peace in the family, peace in the society, peace in the community, peace in the country, peace in the world, peace in the universe. That is the goal. 
but not by avoiding the conflicts but by facing it and resolving it but by facing it and resolving it i am trying to remove all the stupid frills got associated with yoga in the name of christ yoga jesus yoga inverted cat pose downward dog pose these are the frills need to be removed from yoga not the rituals and hindu cultural association with yoga hindu cultural association with yoga is not cultural frills the dilution done by the marketers of the yoga is the frills need to be removed i should call as uncultural frills instead of facing the conflict and resolving it trying to escape from it that is not peace trying to escape from the conflict is middle class mind facing it and resolving it is royal mind even while facing and resolving being in the peace is enlightened mind first thing goal is peace that does not mean we will avoid conflicts we will be afraid of conflicts goal is peace by facing and resolving the conflicts second thing you need to know power of declaration understand the last upanishad ishavashya upanishad rishis were introducing the science of prayer to us sohamasmi even when i pray you and me are one and the same so hamas me even when i pray you and me are one and the same a beautiful introduction to prayer now rishis are taking us to the next level i tell you declaration is the peak of prayer declaration is the highest possibility of prayer in the prayer one line of low inner image is retained you always do the stupidity of putting yourself low to raise god high which is not required even though i repeat it again and again and again to make god great to put the god on the higher pedestal you do not need to put yourself down you do not need to put yourself low but you don't listen always one line of 
lower inner image is associated with prayer unfortunately that became a trend so with prayer it's always strong remembrance of one line of lower inner image lower self identity with the declaration that is not there ordinary unconscious prayer the lower self inner image the lower idea of you lower image of you is praying to the highest expression god isa vasya upanishad the prayer is taken to the next level where you are taught soham asmi even when i am praying you and me are from the same source o oh source make what i want as reality now the kano upanishad is taking it to the next level declaration not prayer me my ability to will understand just like you have various abilities ability to see ability to use your hands ability to use your legs ability to listen ability to think you have something called ability to will the ability to will integrates all your abilities the ability to will is the spiritual umbilical cord connection with cosmos understand other than god no one can will when we are told only god's will be done means actually no one else can have will only god can have will if you are having the power to will you are connected to god you are part of god you are him understand power to will is umbilical cord connection with god our umbilical cord connection with god is our power to will if you will no one can deny it even god cannot deny it because your will is bestowed on you by god the upanishad does not say oh brahman let all my energies be awakened no it does not say oh sada shiva let all my energies be awakened no it says may my limbs speech vital energy and all senses be fully matured and enriched with strength and energy ஆப்பியாயந்து மமாங்காணி ஐ டெல் யூ எவ்ரி லைன் வென் ஐ ரீட் அண்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஐ எம் அகெய்ன் இன் லவ் வித் வேதிக் ரிஷிஸ் எவ்ரி டைம் ஐ ரீட் எ ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் and understand i just fall for them once more what a unselfish powerful revelation of truth but upanishadi krishis such vast realizations but zero tendency of exploitation
in the modern day the more you exploit more you are successful especially when i hear this horror stories of doctors coming out and confessing that they falsely diagnose people with cancer even though the patient has no cancer just for the sake of selling medicines and false treatment this is just horror story worse than murder stories worse than rape stories when i hear all this in the modern day and read the lines of upanishadic rishis what an amazing powerful strength and zero selfishness all their plans are only to strengthen you when i read this verses i understand what a great unselfish dedicated sacrificing empowering consciousness just for their purity they are worthy of being worshiped as gods every time they are only interested in empowering you every time they are only interested in awakening the stronger part of you they are not interested in reminding you you are weakness and telling you you are a sinner and keeping you under them no they are no way interested in that the first verse starts with may my limbs vital life energy apyayantu mamangani vakprana chakshu shrotramato balam indriyani cha sarvani it does not say oh god let my limbs speech life vital energy become strong no no apyayant mamangani i am declaring may my limbs speech life vital energy eyes ears and all the senses be fully matured and enriched with the strength and energy because my will is god's will mama sangalpa shiva sangalpa mastu my will is the umbilical cord connection with the cosmos if i will something it has to shake the cosmos cosmos has to make it into reality because i am it i am still connected to it if i don't have the power to will i am disconnected from it if i as long as i have the power to will i am authority i am authorized to will i tell you guys just use this one truth all my temples should teach this prayer teaching human beings to create the will and make it into reality you will be so strong so beautiful understand only strong beings will be beautiful beings Be only strong beings will keep the order in the life sometimes people tell me oh if all of us can will all our wills can criss cross and create so much of chaos no 
Strong people create order. Only weak people create chaos. Strong people never create chaos. Strong people create order. Only weak people create chaos. See this land. Kashi is the land of learning. From how many thousands of years, I don't know, this place was land of learning. This place is the symbol of Vedic culture. All the learning is only used for peace. All the learning is only used for peace. Strong people create order. They do not create chaos. Kashi is the symbol See the whole Kashi. Everything is in order. Only people who don't understand, they think it is chaos. If you understand, it is everything is in order. All of us live together. Strong people create order, not chaos. I think yesterday I committed. I'll speak on Upanishads and help you guys to manifest all the powers. I think Sadashiva is doing both the job. Because the same signs only to manifest all the powers also. <laughs> this is the same truth. Upanishads are talking in the first verse. And this is the same truth used for manifesting the powers. For manifesting all powers just... You need to declare will. Will means Anya. Anya means third eye. Third eye means Varanas. Varanasi has two meaning. The place between the eyebrows and the nose. Place between Varuna and Asi. Place between the eyebrows and the nose, third eye. Place between Varuna and Asi, Varanasi. Your will is seated on the Anya Chakra, third eye. Varanasi is the right place to manifest that power. To practice, your will can powerfully integrate you with whole Brahman or Sadashiva. The word Sadashiva seems to be more tasty, juicy. Because not only it is the source of everything, it manifests not just experiences, powers too. Brahman seems to be more experience. Sadashiva is experience and expression put together. Brahman seems to be shaved face, young boy, okay. Sadashiva seems to be very Matured. 
manifesting. Whether it is Brahman or Sadashiva, will is the umbilical cord through which you manifest. Will is the umbilical cord through which you and Sadashiva are connected. You and Brahman are connected. You and the universe are connected. As long as you have power to will, you have a right to enlightenment. Power to will is the right to enlightenment. When you have the key to treasure, when you have the key to treasury and not enjoying the treasures, you are fool. When you have the will, which is the key to enlightenment and manifestation of all the powers and you are not manifesting it, you are fool. Don't waste your will. Don't wait. It will be there forever with you. Even if you don't use, don't think, it will be there forever with you. Even if you don't use and don't take your will for granted, when you have it, better use it. When you are having it, better use it. If you don't use it, Sadashiva may think, oh, I think he doesn't need it and it can be taken away any day. Before it is taken away, use it. Come to Kashi when you have two legs to walk. Don't wait for eight legs to carry you. <laughs> Come to Kashi when you have two legs to walk, don't wait eight legs to carry you. Use your will. When you are having it, ability to will is the peak of human consciousness you can experience. Ability to will is the peak of human consciousness you can experience. For all the disciples and smash team, this is the one-liner for you guys today. Ability to will is the peak of consciousness. Use it to manifest universe in you. Will is the umbilical cord connects you and the universe. Don't waste it. Will it and make it. Will it, it will be. Use your power of declaration. You should use at least next 24 hours and have the understanding about your will, the power of your will, then I will teach you this verse which can become reality just by your will. Because this verse is the best will you can create. It's unfortunate. In English, I don't have any other word to translate Agnya. But you need to know, in English, will uh, is used for future tense. In Sanskrit, Agnya is present tense. There's a big cultural difference. The moment I translate, the juice is lost. Will 
is more like a future in english but in sanskrit agnya is present nothing just next 24 hours till tomorrow morning you come back to the tomorrow satsang just create few will some declaration and see how it starts manifesting in you come back with that experience and confidence and i tell you you won't fail you will only gain confidence try to create some will in your life it can be as simple as the red signal in the traffic signal should, should change it can be as simple as the traffic light should change it to green to as difficult as my wife should listen to me <laughs> create a will and see how it manifests and come back with that confidence and i tell you once you understand the understand the signs of will so much so much can be manifested by you so much of order so much of love so much of life can be manifested in you please listen sada shiva is waiting for each one of you to manifest him because more and more of you manifest him more and more joy in the planet earth more and more of you manifest sada shiva's powers more and more bliss in the life more and more of you manifest his powers more and more consciousness in the world so that is the best thing you will do to you and you will do to others more manifestation of sadashiva's powers don't ever think oh i am also trying to manifest but god is putting lot of obstacles in the front no you are putting the obstacles he is helping you to remove it change your understanding <laughs> he is not putting the obstacles you are putting the obstacles he is helping you to get out of it will 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 is the umbilical cord through which you are connected to universe try get back to me tomorrow with success then i'll teach you the meaning because when you create this will as per the shanti pata it should simply become reality let's recite the shanti pata once more apyayantu apyayantu mamangani mamangani va प्राण चक्षु श्रोत्र मधो बलमिंद्रिया चर्वाणी सर्व ब्रह्मोपनिषत Maham Brahma Nirakuryam 
mama brahma nirakarot anirakaranam astva nirakaranam me astu tatatmani निरतेय उपनिषत्सु धर्मास्ते मयि संधु ते मयि संधु ओम शांते Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. I bless you all. Let you all radiate. Let's all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching, causing, living Shuddhadvaita Saivam, the eternal bliss, Nityananda. Thank you. Be blissful.